If he really joins Manchester United and wants to avoid the footsteps of his predecessors, coach Eric Ten Hag needs to get the job done first if he wants to succeed at Old Trafford. Show the ultimate power of the coach when the Manchester United dressing room is in chaos largely because of the lack of order. It's not to the point of a litter of catfish but it's strong everyone lives and lacks respect for each other. The voice of coaches like Ralph Ringnick being overlooked may be due to his outdated management. Eric Ten Hag must look here and learn a lesson. Coming to Man United, Eric Ten Hag had to immediately make decisions showing his presence. According to Wayne Rooney's advice, it is possible to eliminate both Ronaldo and Pogba. Look at the example of Pep Guardiola. When he first arrived at Manchester City, he immediately dismissed the number one goalkeeper Joe Hart because he thought his style was not suitable. Samir Nasri also received appropriate punishment when Pep's warnings about his weight were ignored by the former France international. Previously, it is not that Manchester United have not had strong-faced coaches. Jose Mourinho exemplifies that style, with direct conflicts with Pogba and Marshall. Mourinho wanted to sell both of these players. But the Red Devils board sided with the other side of the front line and fired the special person. So far, it can be asserted that their choice was wrong. Marino's successor, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, was too gentle and did not have many breakthrough decisions in his three years in office. The next thing that Eric Ten Hag needs to do is improve the players' fitness when receiving the team from Marino. Solskjaer once admitted that the player's fitness was not enough to meet his flexible play style. So right in the first summer to tour with the team in Australia, Solskjaer has increased a lot of exercises to improve fitness. The indicators show that the fitness of new players has increased by 50%. Until Rangnick took office, he still had the same comment as Salsa. The fitness of the Red Devils players has improved. But it is still too far from superpowers like Man City and Liverpool. Therefore, it is not surprising that the performance on the field of Manchester United is still standing still and sometimes even regressing. Eric Ten Hag must do everything to make the students become real scanner. If they want to completely transform Man United and everything will have to start with a tour to Australia and Thailand next summer. The problem with teams like Manchester United is what is lacking is still lacking, but what is in excess is still abundant. Sir Alex Ferguson once described the Red Devils in their heyday as a boss that doesn't wait for anyone. Man United now is the opposite. There are too many redundant players like Phil Jones, Lingard. Mata. Still harboring players who do not contribute much to the team shows that M.U is really a mess, where many teachers are many ghosts, and there is not really anyone to manage. In the context of the fact that it is likely that Manchester United will have to play in the Europa League, or worse, the Europa Conference League, or worse, no European Cup, the reduction of the squad. The reduction of the salary fund is mandatory. Eric Ten Hag of course must understand this problem of economics mixed with expertise. Manchester United owns a patchwork squad, the product of four official coaches, not to mention two interim people, Rangnick and Ryan Giggs. So, don't be surprised why you can't see the unity in the rookie's style. Each person contributed a strange look to create chaos at Old Trafford. Coach Eric Ten Hag is a smart person and even before he landed, the British media confirmed that the Dutch strategist wanted to have full control over the side on hiring. Thus, there will be a conflict with interim coach Raul Kringnik who will serve as a technical advisor from next season. But Ten Hag is forced to be arbitrary in this matter because it is directly related to his career at Old Trafford. The David Moyes, Luis van Gaal, Jose Marino and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer once held a grudge for not having the people he really needed. Therefore, Eric Ten Hag must set a very high standard for the goals that the Manchester United negotiating team bring in, either that player, or the equivalent, not less.